Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12. We are looking at a module today. So what has prompted me looking at this module in particular is uh, my Cursor Strahd campaign is about to kick off and I've had a couple of my trusted players log in just to look at a couple of scenes, not giving anything away, just to make sure things are smooth, a couple of tiles, things are working. Obviously with the changes version 12, I jumped ahead amongst active tile triggers and things like that. Just wanted to make sure it's going to run smoothly when the rest of the hordes arrive. It's going to be seven players. So I don't I want to be messing around too much i want to just crack on with it um but the only uh, not criticism the only comment they made was scenes take a little bit long to load so it literally is a matter of seconds but it's not particularly smooth and i thought why is that i know why that is because i pull images from all sorts of places i've used um, I've used AI to generate images, I've pulled some from the internet, I've downloaded other people's maps, I've taken maps from the official modules and things like that, um, without really giving any consideration to file size, right? <laughs> so if I've got a, an image that is, I don't know, 20 megabytes big or something, then that is going to absolutely um, be a problem because that needs to be transferred to the client, so the player computer, before they're actually being able to see it. And when you look at a scene like this, where I've got you know images down here for envelopes and things like that, and I've got maps and all of that lot, that's going to add up potentially uh, and cause some problems. So let me demonstrate for you how I kind of have been doing it. I'm going to go to my tile browser, um, and I can come into if I come into maps and come into test. I'm going to uh, find a file to upload. Now let's find a high res JPEG of the Sword Coast that I would, I could just bring that in. And in fact, in my Fandelva campaign, I used, I wasn't the, I didn't use the high res one, but I bought this in 25.9 meg. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that one in. There we go. And it's now in as one of mine. You notice it's in a folder called test because I'm going to delete it afterwards. So that is quite a large map that I've now bought in that I can use either as a tile or, of course, I can create a new scene. Again, I want to be careful because this is my real game world. I don't want to mess things up. Uh, let's configure that and let's select that path. There we go from my test folder and I've got a new scene. Da -da. High res, beautiful high res map. Um, lovely jubbly, can use it to explore. But it's going to take them a while to download. So it's just going to slow up the way that they are going to be able to do that. So what can I do? What can I do to optimize any of my images for my tiles and stuff like that? Now some of you may already know because you might be ahead of me. Right manage modules I am going to look at very straightforward if I can use my alphabet again there we go media optimizer which does exactly what you think it does okay so let's save that and we now got this module in um, and we can repeat what we just did by going to our tile browser and deciding that in that test folder I'm going to now choose a new file and I'm going to choose this Sword Coast map high res that I just did and it's a JPG. So let's click that. Hmm. Taking a moment. Why has it not done anything? Is it? It might be because it's got the same name. No, it's just slow. There we go. So, right. So what we got, and again, you know, if it's taken that long for my computer to sort it out. <laughs> now, you may have seen that popped up the top there with a couple of blue bars. Um, but I now have my new version in here as well. Okay, so I've got two in this folder called Maps Test. So I'm going to drag over the folder that those are in. A uh, little bit small, isn't it? Well, I can make them extra large for you to help. It's the same map. The first original JPEG, uh, tiny for you to see, but I can see that is 25.9 meg. When we look at this version, Sword Coast, you'll see the name has been updated. It's got rid of the spaces, put in hyphens, etc. And it's changed it to a WebP file. Okay, so the dimensions on this one is... <laughs> 
10,200 by 6,600. Uh, and on this one, it's now 8192 by 5300. So it's shrunk it, but it's now only 10 megabytes. So it's less than half the size. So that's going to load, obviously, much, much nicer. So if I go to this scene here, I can just simply configure and switch that over to be the uh, this one here, which is the... There we go. Did you notice any difference? But it's over half the size. So it's automatically, every time I'm going to upload an image or a sound file, it is going to automatically optimize them to make them much, much better for using in Foundry VTT, which is beautiful. Um, now, if your files are already in um, you know, WebP format, fine, because that's the best format they need to be in. But a lot of them aren't going to be. A lot of them might be in JPEGs, etc. And, and stuff like that. Okay, so let's look at some of the options that we've got under our configure settings for this particular one. Um, d -d 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 Media Optimizer. There's not an awful lot of options here. Um, I should point out this is this is another Ripper module. Ripper doing work again. So um, we can disable it if we want to. We can set the quality. So if we know everybody's using small screens or or maybe they're using on mobiles and things, you could drop the quality right down because it's still going to look good on their screens. We can set a maximum resolution. So if it's over that resolution, it will shrink them down. Okay, so we can set that. Uh, and you can go, you can see, you can go actually really quite small if you want to. Um, we can tell it, yes, please optimize images. Yes, please optimize audio. Yes, please optimize video. It's going to do all of those. And also we can get it to, can you please do clean file names? So clean file names is the difference between uh, this one and that one. It will remove any spaces and put hyphens in and it gets rid of the capitals. Now for things like Moulinet um, uh, and when we're, um, Moulinet prefers that style without the spaces it's uh, I haven't counted any problems but apparently it does and when we were look at scene packaging and packaging up um, different things to be able to transfer them between foundry games when we had a little look at that and I created some item lists and things like that that has to be in this format you can't have the spaces in there so this is quite useful that it's going to automatically do that for us it's going to automatically drop them in exactly the right a format and in the appropriate place. So it's a really nice little mod um, that probably we should all have running all the time when we're building at least. Okay, because once we're built we don't need to worry about it. Um, obviously I'm going to get rid of this scene. If I look at the Death House, uh, let's look at the Death House Evil which is where we've got quite a lot of stuff going on. This is the kind of scene that if my images aren't optimized, because there's a lot of stuff going on, it could be really quite slow for the players for it to load. And that could detract from gameplay. It could give them a chance to wander off you know, mentally. They pick up their phone while they're waiting for it, especially if they've got slower connections and things like that. We don't want that to happen. We want it to be as smooth as possible. The Media Optimizer is the tool that we can use to do exactly that. Um, so yeah, it's a really good one. Um, if anybody else has got any other kind of uh, ways of doing it, um, other tools that you use to optimize your stuff, yeah, let us know. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is the one. <laughs> does the job, doesn't it? It's really, really easy to use. It just does it in the background. You don't have to do anything. Once it's installed, you just carry on building. Now with that in mind, I'm glad I found it now because as I continue to build the curse of strad it means all of my scenes will be much more um will be much better they'll be much smoother to load and things like that and i'll need to consider whether i go back um, and rebuild some of my scenes to make sure i'm using optimized versions um just because it will run smoother i don't know should i shouldn't i we'll find out anyway thank you very much for watching really appreciate it comments likes feed the algorithm monster all those good things and if you're not subscribed, please do so, and I will see you in the next one. You take care.